Hi, in this video we're going to show you an extension you could use in addition to or instead of the Google Waffle up here which shows you all your Google Apps. Of course, you know, you could get everything here and you could move them around and rearrange them and actually find stuff down at the bottom there. But if you're not on the uh, any Google page that has this Waffle, then you're going to have to go back to Google and then go to here or do it from one of your bookmarks. So there's an extension called Shortcuts for Google and it works the same way. It should work for uh, Chrome as well. So you just click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. Okay, it kind of takes you to an introductory page, which you close out. Now you probably should pin it so you have it up here all the time. Now you can see you have a lot of the common Google Apps up, up here. So if you want to go to Gmail, just click on that, like so. So to edit these items, you know, to add more or remove some, you could click on your extensions. Go to Shortcuts for Google, click on the three dots here, go to Options. And now you could search uh, a lot of the common ones here, which is a lot more than you have with the Google Waffle. Let's say you wanted News, you could add it like that. You could even create a custom shortcut, it doesn't even have to be a Google app. So let's say we wanted a Dropbox to show up there. You don't need to worry about the custom icon URL for the most part because it should pull it from the website. So click on save. So now if we go here, we have our new news icon that we added and then we also have Dropbox. And if you click on that and take us right to Dropbox. And of course, you know, if you don't want it, you could click on it here again, edit, and then remove, and then it'll be gone. Then you could sort them, remove them all, and then here you could search or sort by name, newest, and so on like that. So it's a pretty cool little extension. You know, so if you're always using the Google Waffle and you want to be able to access it other places besides a Google page itself, you might want to check this out. So I will put a link in the description where you can download this. Or if you don't even need to download you just add it to your browser. And then if you want to get rid of it, you could go to your extensions, click on the three dots, and remove from Chrome and it'll be gone. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.